Hi, this is my second section of the webinar, which is about summary statement writing. Here you will learn how to write a perfect summary statement. Once you completed all three career episodes, you have to analyze them and ensure that each element specified in the summary statement is clearly demonstrated. The result of your analysis will be demonstrated in this section of CTR. Summary statement cross-references the competency element with the particular paragraph in your career episode where each element mentioned. For doing, the, for doing this, you have to number each paragraph in the career episode clearly so there will be no ambiguity left in the summary statement. While writing the summary statement, do not restrict it to one page only. You have to be assured that each indicator is covered within each competency element. A single summary statement is required for all three episodes and there is no need to prepare separate three summary statements for the three career episodes. You can download the summary statement template from our website reviewmycgr.com. The first element of summary statement deals with your understanding of the natural and physical sciences and how you implement them in your practical job area. By natural sciences, it means physics, geography, chemistry, biology, astron astronomy, etc. On the other side, engineering fundamentals deals with the engineering everyday concepts such as electrical circuit design, thermodynamics, energy analysis, etc. In the broader sense, this element deals with the application of fundamentals in designing, research, building and developing the solution. Competency element 1.2 This element of summary statement deals with the familiarity of the engineer with mathematics, numerical, statistical analysis, computer and information sciences. In this section, you have to give the references of those paragraphs which show how you fluently applied your detailed analysis, measurement, survey, knowledge management, etc. Corresponding references for this indicator can be taken from career episodes that related to the wide application of mathematics and statistics in carrying out various engineering activities such as designing, planning, budgeting, in in identification of errors, measurements, etc. Engineers are expected to be able to apply professional level of mathematics and statistics related to their discipline in different activities. Competency element P1.3 This section of summary statement deals with the application of proper specialized knowledge and aptitude in the practice area of engineering discipline. Competency element P1.4 This is the fourth element of the summary statement that, that deals with the lifelong learning which is very cu crucial for the engineers to remain up to date with the rapid changes in technology, scientific knowledges and tools. Here you can mention the research part like if you conducted literature review or you research about any specific technology, the reference from that paragraph should be mentioned in this element. Competency element P1.5 Knowledge of contextual factors. Here it is important to clarify what contextual factors means. These are the potential constraints and consequences that are influenced by the engineering practice. For example, engineering standard policies, regulations, laws that an engineer followed while carrying out different engineering activities. Competency element P1.6 This part of summary statement highlights the understanding of the engineer about the specific norm code standard that he she followed during the design or other activities. Engineers are required to provide systematic application of engineering principles, codes, standards, and safety rules while designing or performing other activities during the 
competency element P 2.1. This section explains how profound an engineer in understanding the complex problems and how he she take it to develop solutions that is most appropriate and based on the fundamental principles. Competency element P 2.2. This section deals how proficient an engineer is in identifying and selecting the best material and resources as per the project requirement. Determine the quality, performance, safe working limits, failure mode of equipment before selecting it. Competency element P 2.3 In this element, engineer has to provide the references of those paragraphs where he specify his design process, engineering synthesis and how he implemented his technical engineering knowledge in completing a design. Competency element PE 2.4 Application of systematic approach Under this element, engineers has to specify how they manage their project, how they manage the teams and how they lead them. Competency element PE 3.1 Under this element, Engineers has to demonstrate how they follow different engineering standards and ethical conducts. Competency element 3.2 Effective oral and written communication in professional and lay domain. Under this element, engineers has to demonstrate how they utilize their communication in writing, compiling project reports, and participating in different meetings and team discussions. Competency element 3.3 Creative, innovative and proactive demeanor. Engineers has to show how they apply different innovative techniques in completing their task. They can provide and give reference to the paragraph where they specify their research. Competency element 3.4 Engineers need to demonstrate their prof proficiency in collecting, assessing and utilizing different information for completing a particular task. Competency element 3.5 is all about orderly management of self and professional Competency element 3.5 is about team management and leadership. As a team leader, how engineers coordinated with their colleagues, arrange weekly meetings, discuss the progress of the project, 